Hello all my beautiful sisters from those other misters. Welcome back to my channel. It is time for empties. So I didn't do an empties last month uh, because I didn't really have much and then I ended up with a lot. So um, the samples are falling out. I will say there's probably more samples in here than full size items. Um, so basically I'm just going to go through the stuff that I finished up recently and give you mini reviews. Okay, first up is a glass house candle. This is under the mistletoe. So it's spiced apple and red berries. This is from their holiday collection. Was it last year? Or the year before? I don't know. Anyway, she's done. This is really nice. This like kind of reminds me a little bit of like pine and like baking spices that you would use around Christmas time. Smells gorgeous, really really liked it. I'm gonna go with what's on top. So I've got a bunch of like sample things and sachets and sheet masks and stuff that was in my uh, project pan. This is from By Terry, it's a lip expert uh, matte and shine formula. So there was two matte, two shine. These are nice, the matte ones, too drying for me. I can't wear matte lip products anymore. Um, I try to and occasionally I make it work but it's not like I'm not buying them because I know that they're not easy for me to wear. The shine ones I really enjoy though. I actually have some of these in the full size so there we go. Um, NARS bronzing powder Laguna little sachets. Two of them that were in my project pan. I really like Laguna. I've got it in the full size. I've got it in minis. I've got it in spades. I like it. Easy to use. Uh, the Becca Ultimate Coverage 24 Hour Foundation. So I used these two. I mixed them together. This was not nice at all. For starters, there wasn't really enough in there to actually do a full face and neck because I blend my foundation down my neck. Um, but it was just it looks so bad on my dry skin clung sort of it was like clinging to dry patches but also seemed to be drying really quickly and was like patchy and yuck i wouldn't buy it let's just put it that way uh i have some false eyelashes here i got these off yes style they were the love lash false eyelashes. There was three pairs and I actually cut them in half and used them as demi lashes. I liked them. If I finished the whole packet, I liked them. Uh, I have some sheet masks. So I have the, uh, God, what brand is this? Go To. It's the Go To Transformazing Sheet Mask for juicy, glowy, bright skin. Look, pretty much all sheet masks work for me really well these days because my skin is dry so I had no problem with using that one I enjoyed it the double and zero collagen sheet masks I really like these I bought like a pack of 10 uh, quite a while ago I'm still going through them I have the secret key uh, starting treatment essence essence sheet mask these are really nice as well and i have the tony moly pureness 100 hyaluronic mask sheet uh, this was an interesting texture the sheet mask it was a nice mask like i said pretty much all sheet masks work for me so you know yeah you, you gotta take it with a grain of salt because my skin is dry as shit and uh it pretty much drinks anything if i put a sheet mask on so you know <laughs> that's a thing um but this was sort of like almost like um what's the material that you put like a christmas pudding in one of them it was like thick it was thick material and a little bit sort of not stiff but not as pliable as say a standard sheet mask so i thought that was interesting i did enjoy it though Okay, um, this is from Urban Decay. It's Gwen Stefani Cheek Palette. I am putting this in my empties because I'm very proud of myself and I finished one pan. And it's the only pan that I want to finish in this palette. It's old as shit. I've got to get rid of it. Uh, but it was in my project pan and I finished up this shade. I just used it as a bronzer. It was fine. Um, and to be fair, I do have good usage on OC. Like it sort of dips in the pan. Um, but yeah i was just like no it's time to give give that up but i finished a part of it 
I have a conditioner here. This is, not that you can see it, let's take it back here. Uh, this is the Pure Organic Certified Complex Fusion. The brand is Pure and it is the Fusion Complex Bond Repairing and Protein. No, Protecting. Bond Repairing and Protect. Oh my god, far out. It's a conditioner from the brand Pure. It's in the Fusion Complex range. Got that out. Uh, this, Madeline gave me this along with the shampoo to try out and I quite liked it. The conditioner, not so great. Like I wouldn't actually buy it again because I've tried better and I'd be more inclined to try something that's on my like wish list or I would be like buying something that I know and love. And it's not that this was bad, it just wasn't what I particularly like out of conditioner. I like a conditioner to make my hair silky soft. Silky soft and completely detangled. Um, and while this made my hair soft, soft and detangled it, it wasn't to the level that I like. So I wouldn't buy that one again. The shampoo I love though. Shampoo's fantastic and I'm still using it. Jergens Natural Glow Moisturizer. I had this kicking around for ages and then I was like, God damn, just finish it up. There was literally like two uses in it. So that one's done. I really like Jergens um, moisturizers, whether it be the ones with the like gradual tan or the non-gradual tan ones, I would buy that again. Let's do these. I've got baby cotton buds from Daiso. I freaking love these. They're so good. They're good for like cleaning stuff up I like to use them on like my nails if I get a little bit of something something where I don't want it like on the skin I'll use baby cotton bud uh, if I want to clean up makeup or even apply makeup with like super duper precision especially eye makeup pull out one of these they're great uh, they're probably maybe a half to a third of the size of a normal cotton tip and uh, yeah, I just love them. Every time I go to Daiso, I'm like, grab a couple of tubs of them. Um, I'm glad I really stocked up last time because obviously I can't go to the shops at the moment. So, you know, I've still got st some in my stash. Uh, I used up the Swispers cotton rounds. These are really nice. I like these. I feel like when you use something like this and then you use like a sometimes cheaper sometimes more expensive but crappier version that falls apart you're like you just can't go wrong with cotton rounds that actually hold together really like them I would buy them in the future I like to buy them when they're on sale because they're a bit expensive um, I know you can get like bigger packets cheaper so it, it's kind of hard for me to be like I'm buying 80 for the price of like I could get 200 for the same price but the quality is is different. More sachet samples. Uh, I have the Purito Centella Buffet Serum. This is nice, but I probably, like realistically, I probably wouldn't buy it. I'd be more inclined to buy something new that I'm excited to try or like go back to a like old super duper favorite essentially. Like if I ended up with this somehow, I would happily use it it's a very nice serum but I have like you know favorites we all have favorites so there you go um Inglot uh that's not an empty that's just going in the bin um Inglot HD perfect cover-up foundation this was very similar to the Becca one in the way that it applied dry and like grippy and just it looks so bad on my skin would not buy uh dr barbara sturm these are glow drops my gold these are really really nice um i would consider it kind of like a hydrating primer with a very subtle subtle glow uh it's not a highlighter by any means um, but these retail for like 200 and something dollars for a 30 ml bottle, I think it was, in Australia. And I just don't... What? I don't have a problem with expensive skincare. I actually own some expensive skincare. I have a face mask that retails for 
I think 200 or something dollars uh, in Australia, which I purchased myself full price from Mecca. Um, and I don't have a problem with paying that price or brands pricing their shit at prices like that. But when, when the product does something so basic and I can think of a dupe that I've been using right alongside this for a much more affordable price, I'm like, no, no, I personally would not pay the money for this. The um, Smashbox Primerizer Primer is very, very, very similar to this in every aspect. The only difference I find is that this gives the skin a bit more of a glow than the uh, Smashbox one does. So there you go. But other than the glow that this offers, nothing. It offered nothing else. Hydration. I can get that from a moisturizer. Cheers. Okay, and this last one is the RMS Bariti Bronzer. So this is kind of like a moussey type, creamy moussey solid bronzer thing. Um, I didn't hate it. I didn't love it. I wouldn't buy it. It was, I don't know. It was nice, but I, I didn't, I didn't love it. Um, I have deodorant, Rexona Clinical Deodorant. I always use this. I probably should just stop putting it in my empties. Um, but it's pretty much the only one I use because I'm allergic to everything else. And even this very occasionally gives me problems, but it's pretty much the only one I can use. Um, then I have the Ultraderm All-in-One Micellar Cleanser. So this is just a micellar water. Uh, I like this. It's effective and it works, but I found that it burnt my eyes. Anytime I used it around my eyes, it was like burny and ow and stingy, which is a shame. Um, so I wouldn't buy that one. I have the Corsair X Moisture Power Enriched cream so there's two in this range this is the cream there's also a gel not that you can see it for christ's sake so this is fairly nice i would say if you've got super dry skin it might not be enough for you you know i like layer mine with a hydrating serum and a face oil and then the moisturizer um and for me it wasn't quite enough but if you've got like normal skin if you've got oily skin, it would be a nice night cream. So there we go. This is from Myzon. It is a snail repair eye cream. Um, I did like this, but it was such a big, big jar. I was like, I'm never going to get through this as an eye cream. It's supposed to only be open for 12 months. I do try to be a little bit more strict with how long I use my eye creams for because it's going around my eyes and there's a really good chance I'm going to actually get some in my eyes. Um, so in the end I just used this up on my body because I know I've had it open for a while. I did like it but I can't say that I saw any like you know changes with what's going on around my eyes so I wouldn't buy that one again. Okay, now I'm just going to pull shit out. Uh, Wet n' Wild. This is a photo focus foundation in soft ivory. Look, uh, this, this I don't mind. Uh, I like the coverage that it offers. It wore really well on me, but it creases in my smile line something shocking. And uh, most foundations do. So, you know, there's that. But because I know it creases, I'd be less likely to repurchase it and more likely to buy something new to see if I can finally find something that doesn't crease in my smile lines. Um, and I will say this, like what I'm wearing today is a blend of the Giorgio Armani Luminous Silk and the Shuomura Petal Skin Foundation. Um, and like it's still creasing, but it's not as severe as this one so you know there's that next I have the bioeffect volcanic exfoliator um, this is so it's a gel and it's got scrubby particles in it that are for me personally they're a little bit bigger than I like and they're too far and few between um, I do I really enjoyed it when my skin was being 
particularly sensitive and it still needed a scrub because the gel base doesn't um, foam up it emulsifies when it gets wet which is really nice and the scrubby particles were enough to sort of help get off some of the dry skin without stripping my face to within an inch of its life essentially so for that I did enjoy it but I'm not sure that I would repurchase it in the future it is very expensive um, I think I don't think I'm gonna need this now because I think my skin will start to change a bit more now that I'm off uh, the isotretinoin and uh, I think I'll be able to go back to using acids which is my preferred method of exfoliation I have two lip balms here um, so I have the Mario Badescu lip balm this is really nice I really really enjoyed this I would totally buy it again I also have the Lana Lips 101 ointment I actually don't think I like Lana Lips all that much what I've used from Lana Lips in the last like 12 months because I've been using a lot of lip balm um, I find they've got like the lip, I think they call them lip waters. They don't do anything for me at all. And I find with these more balmy ones, they do a little bit, but it's, it's almost like just surface hydration, not like actually rehydrating seriously dried out prune lips which is what I deal with. Whereas the Mario Badescu, if I've ended up with prune lips from not being diligent with moisturizing, this will sort of revive my lips in a few hours. Whereas this, I can reapply and reapply and reapply until the cows come home and my lips still don't really come good. The dry skin on the surface will come off, but my lips are still really dry underneath. So, yeah, there's that. I wouldn't, I don't think I would buy Lana Lips lip balms anymore. I have a few that are like, you know, lovely scented ones and stuff like that. And I'll use them, but I don't think I would buy Lana Lips anymore. Mario Badescu I would buy though. Okay, I have three more full-size things and then some more samples. So, I have MAC shape and shade brow tint in lingering so this is the one with the brush which i really enjoyed and whatever this powder thing is at the bottom which i never used because no thank you um i like these i think my issue is that they the tips seem to like dry up they get clumped up with shit that's in my brows you know probably foundation and powder and all that trash even if I like try to comb out my brows and get the crap out of them um the brush tip still seems to get a little bit like clumped up I'll do one brow fine and then I'll do the second one and I'm like we're not having a good time here um so I don't think I don't think I would buy it again I think I'll just stick to my um ultra skinny brow pencils because just easy uh i have a nail polish this is from kester black it is a supersonic top coat i really really like this and i'm also thinking i might actually keep the the brush out of this i don't know if it'll be long enough for okay so this i'm fucking going off on a tangent this is quite similar to Cish Vite in the way that it works with sort of almost like shrink wrapping around the nails and it dries really quickly it's super glossy it wears really well so I really love that aspect of this and um, prior to using this pretty much the only top coat that I would use was Cish Vite because it just works so well it was my favorite um, now when I finish this and I actually painted my nails last night and I used my Cish Feet and I still love Cish Feet, don't get me wrong. And I have heaps of it. Um, I buy it like in the big refill bottles that you would buy for a salon. Um, anyway, I was using it last night and it's got a skinny little brush and I didn't like it. My nails are long and it takes a lot of nail polish to cover them and I like to do it quickly because it dries quickly. And I missed this brush from 
this nail polish. So I'm going to see if I can make that brush. I know the brush will like screw on to the Sea Feet bottle. That won't be an issue. I'm concerned that the brush won't be long enough to like get into the bottom of the bottle because they're different shaped bottles. But I will find out. I will find out. I'll give it a go. Love that, by the way. Love it. Highly, highly recommend. And if you want to try it, we do, we've got a code with Beauty News. I think it gets you 10% off. Anyway, it'll be in the description box. Then I have the Linda Holberg Blossom Oil. Uh, so I use this as a lip balm and I've used it as cuticle oil. Cuticle oil is where it's shone, shone, shined, shone, shone. It's where it stood out for me. <laughs> uh, um... The thing is, like, I I can't say that I would buy it again. I mean, it's something that I have to buy online. I've got to pay shipping for it. It would be more convenient for me to go to Priceline or Chemist Warehouse or one of the beauty trade stores and pick up a cuticle oil. Or I could simply use the 500ml bottle of vitamin E oil that I've been using on my nails for ever that I have stashed away in my room. So there's that. But it is a nice product. If you're curious about the Blossom Oil, it's kind of like a multi-purpose, do whatever you want it to do oil. You can use it on your face, on your body, on your nails, on whatever you want to do. Do whatever you want with it. Last, but not least, definitely not least, because I'm so glad to have used some of these things up. I've got like mini deluxe samples. So from Cremo Lab, I have the Mineral Treatment Essence. I have three of them that I finished up. Uh, this is nice. It's hydrating toner. Hydrating toner. That's all. Um, I am sort of moving away from toners a little bit. I'm sort of like, do I need this step? Probably not. Um, in terms of hydrating toners I'm talking about because the rest of my routine is pretty schmeek with the hydration. Um, if I have a toner that's a bit more specialised, like it, it deals with sensitivity or uh, dark spots or something like that, then I'm a bit more on that bandwagon. Um, but yeah, moisturising toners, I'm kind of moving away from them. So I sort of had a dig through my stash and I was like, all right, I'm going to focus on them. Um, and these little samples were the first to go, essentially. Uh, so they are nice. If you do like hydrating toners, if you're all about that life, then this is a very nice product. Um, then I have the L'Occitane Reset Night Serum. I really like the scent of this. It's like a... I don't know, kind of like green floral. I, I just, I really like it, but I can't say that it did anything for me. I had quite a few of these samples and I've sort of used them like in conjunction throughout the year. And I can't say that I've seen any sort of significant change in my skin while using them. So I wouldn't buy it again, but I really like that uh, Immortel scent. It's, it's good. If they put that in a perfume, I'd buy it. That That's pretty much pretty much how I feel about the scent. Uh, Shiseido Essential Energy Moisturizing Cream. This is really nice, but again, it's a bit expensive and I can't say that I saw any like huge change in my skin or even minimal change in my skin that would warrant me wanting to purchase this. Um, I've got moisturizers that are currently in my rotation that are more affordable and just as effective. This is the Sampa So Much To Do Midnight Mask. I love this. This is fantastic. This is serious, serious hydration boost, which there were times when I seriously needed that. So what I did, once I worked out what this does for my skin, I kind of squirreled it away and I only used it where my skin really needed it because it was so good. I would buy a full size of this. I would buy a full size and I would keep it in my stash for when my skin is really, really dry and basically fucked because that's what this fixes. Dry, fucked skin. And I really appreciated it. It was great. I don't know how much it costs, but I loved it. And my last sample and item draws empty, 
is from Oskia. It is the Renaissance mask. So again, just a deluxe sample. This is a, it's a gel mask. You apply it to clean, dry skin. And uh, essentially it exfoliates gently. I think the only thing I didn't like about this is a scent. It's got a rose scent. It smells like, um, you know, you know what, uh, pop puree, like drawer sachets or pop puree the grandmother has in like a fucking crystal bowl in their living room or dining room. It's strong and it's stinky and I don't really like it. Yeah, not a fan of the scent. Um, in terms of being an exfoliator for the face, it works well and it's quite gentle. Um, I like it says to leave it on for 10 to 20 minutes and then rinse it off. And if you are using it for the first time or you have sensitive skin, leave it on for 10 minutes. So when I did it, I had like, I was on isotretinoin. So I only left it on for five minutes and it was fine. I washed it off and my skin, like it felt nice and soft and smooth, all good. Uh, and then like the next time I used it, I left it on for 10 minutes, all good. And then I got up to the point where I was wearing it for 20 minutes very comfortably, no issues, probably, to be honest, could have worn it for 20 minutes from the start. It's not over the top, it's not like super duper intense, um, but it does a nice job. I do know that it's quite expensive and I'm not, look, never say never. If I could get it on sale, I'd probably buy it. I think what's nice about that mask is you get the benefit of, um, like an acid exfoliation without it being dry because the mask is like, it's a gel that sort of emulsifies into a milk when you rinse it off. So it's good for dry skin essentially. So that's it for my August and September empties. I am hoping, this is probably a real, really big reach, but I'm hoping that I'll have like at least half full boxes of empties for October, November and December because it, I kind of hate it when I don't do an empties video in a month because it tells me that I haven't used much up and that upsets me because my whole focus at the moment is to use things up so that I have less things. Anyway, we'll see how we go. Let me know in the comments how you guys are going with your empties. Are you a bit like me and sometimes struggling to finish up a lot of stuff or like the usual amount of stuff that you would use in a month? I know my empties are definitely less this year. Um, could blame coronavirus could also blame myself for being lazy and not focusing on things i think that's probably a bit more appropriate let me know how you guys are going and i will see you in the next one bye